All right. <laughs> I was going to uh, wait a little bit, and then I remembered, like, because I have some writing block issues sometimes, where, like, I'll uh, need to make my thing for the evening, because um, I'm still not quite 100% used to fucking uh, the daily vlog format, and I'm really exhausted. Like, if... <laughs> If if you like these and aren't liking and subscribing, uh, please start to do that. And if you really like them, consider supporting me on Patreon, because uh, throwing like an hour at this every day or more, um, kind of, I'd like to get something out of it. But with that being said, today's subject is yet another conservative temper tantrum. Yeah, that's it. So the subject is that pit vipers... Um, had the audacity to come out with a tweet um, that had <laughs> messages they didn't like in it. And that's literally it. That's, that's the whole story. I mean, I wish it was more. I wish there was more to it. But uh, at this point, uh, the, the only thing we have is this. Fuck terrorists. Fuck fascists, fuck racists. If you're not down with that, fuck off. This message brought to you in collaboration with one of our favorites, Teenage Stepdad. Now, they also include thing, Pit Viper uh, was made for extreme sports. We didn't make these for your bullshit. Not extremist losers. So, or whatever, I think I probably read that out of order. But the point I want to make is... First off, just as a disclaimer, I'm not supporting these guys because they're fucking cowards. Um, and they're not cowards for tweeting this. They're cowards for deleting it. They're cowards. They deleted their tweet. This tweet could have sent a strong message to far-right people who use these and this aesthetic in general to justify their trash arguments with aesthetic pleasingness <laughs> because hey we look cool according to us so that means that uh, anything we say is true they're the same people who put like the retro 80s aesthetic over everything while they're using like swastikas and black suns and ss symbols and shit um so they're they're shit people and it'd be really fucking good for brands to go against them and reappropriate the aesthetic and say that, you know, this isn't good. Um, the brands that didn't do this historically were brands like Coca-Cola and IBM and Bayer and all these fucking, like, fascist dick suckers. Um that, like, oh, yeah, we're totally not with the fash. We just help them do everything. Um, it'd be better for a lot of brands to come out with statements like this. Like, really, strongly. Um, and, you know, it's, it can be said that one man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter, so I don't necessarily co-sign the first part, because it's like, so what does that mean? And why are you only targeting one side of, of terrorists? Uh, why are you only targeting one side of political extremism? Like, definitely target tankies too, maybe? So that they don't say, hey, yeah, these people oppose our enemies, uh, so let's use it to, like, support our brand of authoritarianism. They could have done a lot better. But, <laughs> they're fucking cowards! They deleted the tweet! I had to find this... Because somebody archived it. Which, by the way, if you find any tweet uh, that you want to stay a tweet, archive it. Use the archive service. Archive.today webpage capture. Get the extension for your Chrome-based browser. Get the bookmark for your browser, any browser. And, you know, fucking use it. If, if people want to have my Twitter preserved... All the bullshit, even when I was wrong, they can do that. Hell, just preserve when I was wrong. I don't care. When I admit I'm wrong, just, hey, 
archive that shit so that you can use it against me later. It doesn't matter to me, because what matters to me is that messages are preserved. The fact that Twitter can delete whatever they want at any time is severely bothersome to me. I fucking wonder why. Um, but, you know, while I'm on that subject, join PocketNet and Library. Uh, right below this fucking video, there will be links to that shit. But, <laughs> they fucking deleted their tweet. That doesn't stop a bunch of right cucks from crying about it excessively, you know? It doesn't stop that. It doesn't stop that because they're not interested in facts or reality. What they're interested in is making sure that their brand stays protected, and that means uh, co-signing the agenda of terrible people um, by saying things like smash your fucking pit vipers. I fucking promise you, I'm not making this up. Milo Yiannopoulos, famous for downplaying uh, child rape because it happened to boys, famous for being a right cuck who supports extremism uh, and who regularly like downplays racism as a social force and various other things. Uh, <laughs> this guy... Uh, is is trying to get people to smash their pit vipers. And his whole point here is that pit vipers are going against the people who built their brand. What? Are you seriously trying to tell me that the primary people who bought fucking pit vipers are fascists and racists, Milo? I'd like to see your fucking citation. Huh? I'd like to see your fucking citation. Can you show me your fucking citation? Because I don't think you have one. I think you got that sorts FMA. Or in this case, FYA. Just from your ass. I think you got that source from your ass. Because you don't have a source. You didn't list a source. You didn't list any consumer uh, digest listing. You didn't list any sort of proof the only thing you listed was that a bunch of people were mad at a tweet. <laughs> really? And now you're doing the same shit which has failed every single other time. And then you're telling people to buy knockoffs. Like that won't just prove where the knockoffs are and get them taken off the shelves. I'm not joking, he literally said this. I'll include a link to his stupid fucking video in the description so that you can go watch it for yourself. But ultimately, uh, yeah, no. He's, he's failing to learn from history because he wants uh, social media good boy points from fascists and racists. That's, that's really low. That's fucking pathetic. That's floor scraping. And then he went on a tirade today about how he thinks the, the person who runs the account has a cunt wife, and that's why he's being like this, like he has no spine. Maybe. I mean, he did delete the tweet. That's pretty fucking spineless, Pit Vipers. You make a fucking statement like this, and then you delete the tweet, you fucking craven cunts. I mean, I'm not on your side either. What, you want to get the fame for making the statement and then retract it? What was wrong with it? Be honest. But, uh... <laughs> Milo, going on these tangents, uh, took me down a rabbit hole of finding everybody else who did, and there are so many people who are making the same point. That racists and fascists were the base of Pit Viper's brand. When... Like, for real, there aren't that many of you. You are a tireless political minority and not the fun ones who want actual, like, rights protected. You just want your fascist and racist regimes where you can do whatever the fuck you want as long as it's to people you don't like because of the way they were born. Or because they believe things you don't want them to believe. Fascists and racists are not the basis for pit vipers. 
And they have never retweeted those people as far as I'm aware. They've never supported those people as far as I'm aware. As far as I'm aware, the account is still going strong. I've never bought Pip Vipers, and I'm not going to now, because they deleted the tweet. I might have done it! I might have finally pulled the trigger and bought me some Pip Vipers. Authentic Pip Vipers. I might have fucking done that, because making bold statements against ext extremist statism, fucking totalitarian, authoritarian regimes, like fascism, and the racism which so often forms the basis for it, that's really fucking good. More people should do that. But deleting the tweet means I'm not going to do either thing. I'm not going to buy them, and I'm not going to smash them and buy counterfeits. That is a massive L for you right there. You're buying it, and you're smashing what you bought. You fucking moron. So... <laughs> Now that I'm done with that, let me bring up some classic examples of this not working. Keurig is still going. Its stocks are still doing fine. Right? Nike is still going. Its stocks are still doing fine. Gillette is still going. Its stocks are still doing fine. Get woke, go broke isn't fucking real. Like, when is this going to become more obvious? When are people going to understand this? It's not fucking real. You know? <laughs> it's like... It's like people forget immediately when things happen. I, I, I posted this on June 4th. I, I, I forget why, but I posted corporations don't pretend to value social justice because they're acquiescing. They do it because it makes them a ton of money long term. Get Woke Go Broke is a right wing bedtime story for mental toddlers. Stocks drop for a few days tops, then they do better than ever. That's the truth. That's the fucking truth. These companies don't give a fuck what you want, Milo. They never have. You're not their demographic. And it's the same thing with all these other cunts who think that, like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, if I retract my support, these massive mega corporations are going down. Not like there are people who don't give a shit about their advertising, they just want the product. Not like uh, those people aren't going to stay as part of their base or didn't already buy the product anyway, so they gave them money. It's not like burning your fucking sneakers in your front yard is going to give you a refund and take money away from the corporation. In fact, when you do it, you're giving them trending advertising money because you make a hashtag trend that says burn your Nikes and then everybody sees the Nike logo and new customers that never would have supported them before are suddenly supporting Nikes. New customers that never would have supported Pit Vipers before are supporting Pit Vipers because you guys are making it trend and helping them advertise. In situations like these, the best option is to shut the fuck up. I mean, I really, I don't want to help you people. I'm just laughing at you for digging your own graves. You're laughably stupid. That's what fascists and racists are. And I have no problem saying it because I am neither. It's so funny to me when people who advocate centralized economic and political policies don't understand that when you form centralized groups around economic and political policy, suddenly those centralized groups become targets and become wellsprings for advertising revenue for those people who want to oppose them. The fight, the power mechanic has been used to sell so many fucking things that never did it once that betray their own principles that delete their fucking tweets because they're cowards but you guys are helping them trend 
You guys are helping them stay relevant. You guys are helping them sell their shades to people who hate you because suddenly they see that, hey, the person I hate doesn't like this thing. Enemy of my enemy is my brand. Ha ha ha. Like, why? Why is it not more obvious that you guys are falling into your gullible, fallible-ass trap? Huh? Because you're mental infants. And be because you're used to throwing your tantrums and seeing if that gets you what you want. You're not actually used to organizing in any effective way. You're not used to political action in any meaningful sense. You're used to ineffectual begging for attention on the internet. That's what you're used to. And most of the people involved in this, they don't make money like Milo does off of his viewers. Most of the people into this don't do anything uh, in, in regards to, like, ascending the social ladder. Most of these people stay right where they are at the bottom. But they think they're involved in something bigger because they're destroying a pair of sunglasses. Well, you are involved in something bigger. You're involved in your own downfall and you're helping them advertise. Keep doing it. I don't give a fuck. It puts more money into the into the hands of Pit Viper and less money into like maybe Daily Coast or something. Who, by the way, is now crying because they uh they 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 got successfully sued for equating multiple things with each other and trying to imply that people were Nazis, um when they couldn't prove it. Uh, so uh, that's a funny little anecdote. I might do a video on that. I don't know. Probably not. But the point is that, like, you know, I think both sides of this culture war are trash. I really fucking do. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's almost universally for social media good boy points, and it's not really for solving anything or doing anything of merit. It doesn't help anyone. It doesn't help you. It doesn't help the small people. It only helps those with power. It only helps those in charge. And if you guys want to continue to do that, be my guest. I'm going to laugh at you every single time. Smash your Keurig. Those things are pieces of shit. Like, you can't make coffee without it? Like, you need to put your little cup into your little thing instead of, like, putting grounds in a thing like everybody else? Like... You need Nike specifically to run? <laughs> like, like you need Pit Vipers? You didn't need any of this stuff to begin with. And the fact that you were a mindless consumer isn't on anybody but you. And you're not special. You're not unique for either breaking your pair of Pit Vipers or by making a statement by buying them. So, let me just, you know, round this out by saying, uh, outrage marketing works, and it worked on you. And I'm laughing. Everybody should be laughing. It's fucking hilarious. Anyway, this nice 20-minute uh, rant was half the time of some of my other rants, so feel free to... <laughs> Uh, like, subscribe, etc. Um, and there will be more content relatively soon on various platforms. But with all that in mind, yeah, fuck fascists, fuck racists, smash the state, even yours.